realized about a minute after finishing the vlog yesterday with Aaron and Kim that sunglasses weren't worn by any of us. We were all supposed to wear them. Damn it. Oh, what? You're going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is a Daily Drink vlog. Today, we have got a bottle of Kith and Kin by Innis and Gunn. This is a limited release kind of thing that they do. I'm not sure how often they've done it, but I want to say this isn't the first time it was released because there's a decent number of reviews and stuff that I noticed. Anyway, let's open up Mr. Box and see what we've got. Apparently it's a barrel aged stout. It was aged in teeing, teeling Irish whiskey casks. Check it out. Nice looking black, black in the inside. Eesh. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. I probably should have grabbed a smaller glass. I'm not sure why, I don't know, this one here just jumped out at me when I was going to grab the glass. And yeah, this definitely didn't fill it. It's a chocolatey looking head. Look at the color of that head. Yeah. As always, all the thanks to the Hawaii Robot. Please watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. I have a feeling this is going to be rather pointless. Yeah, yeah there's a... Uh... Oh, wait, look. The tiniest little bit in the bottom. It's like the deepest, darkest red ever. Ooh, it smells kind of strong. It's only 5.8% alcohol though. I'm assuming that's the uh, whiskey aroma that I'm getting that's making it smell strong. Even that, I'm surprised. Innocent Gun, quite often their beers are around the 7-8% mark. Let's give it a shot. Oh my god. That is incredible. Roasty, malty, the, the amazing, wicked awesome malt flavor. Smoky. The way it goes with the little bit of whiskey taste in, oh my God, this is fantastic. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Crazy smooth beer right there. Oh. Oh, I don't know if there's any more bottles of this available here in North Bay, but if there are, I'm going to buy them all. Um, InnocentGun.com, I believe, is where you will go to find the website. Yes, it is. And I'm not going to read the ratings yet. Let's check this out. We've got a lot of crap. It's different on both sides here. Uh, at Innocent Gun, we are united by a shared idea, a mission. The beer can, can and should be better, and that craft beer is for everyone. Think about your first ever smell of freshly baked bread, your first sniff of fresh ground coffee. Moments like that ignite your senses, when you realize that there's something better than the usual out there. That is what craft beer means to us. We live for that moment when your senses are set free and you open yourself up to endless taste possibilities. It informs every single decision about how we make our beer, from the choice of malts, selecting the hops, to the love and care we put into their brewing. It's all about creating beers that lift the spirits and reward your curiosity. I, there's, there's three sides of this that have crap on it. Jesus. All right, well, let's uh, save that one for a second. This is one of the most delicious stouts I've ever had in my life. It is so good. All the flavors are just, they, they work absolutely perfectly together in this beer. I was expecting it to be a little bit more whiskey forward. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, strong whiskey flavor. So I wasn't really, I was kind of apprehensive, but incredibly pleasantly surprised. <laughs> oh, 
And it's only 5.8%. I can drink a six pack of that in a night. Easily. That's so damn tasty. In Scotland, kith and kin means friends and family, which perfectly captures the spirit of this collaboration between two pioneers of our craft. After a lively Scots-Irish debate, together we decided to age a jet black innocent gun stout in barrels formally used to mature Teeling's flagship small batch Irish whiskey. We hope you like the results as much as we do. I think I think I do. Yeah. Barrel aging this beer brewed with a big hit of chocolate malt has created a rich flavor packed beer with full on dark chocolate coffee and treacle alongside delicious hints of vanilla and spice. And barrel magic means that the aftertaste is smooth, seductive, and long. Yeah, it's not really like big on the chocolate flavor, but there is, it is there. Just, I don't know, I didn't, didn't pop out in my head, but it is there. It just, like I said, it melds with everything so perfectly. Yeah, there's absolute good chocolate there. Delicious chocolate flavor. The Teeling family have been creating, have been crafting Irish whiskey since 1782. They are renowned for their vision in doing things differently and their whiskies embody this entrepreneurial spirit. The Teeling distillery is located in the Liberties, the heart, the heart of Dublin city, once home to 37 distilleries. Here the Teelings are leading another revival. A new distillery and new generation crafting small batch Irish whiskey. Every drop bottled at 46% alcohol with no chill filtration and matured in hand selected casks until they say it's ready. There's this, this, their city is steeped in Irish whiskey in whiskey history, blah, 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 blah. but the future has just begun. That's the spirit of Dublin. Sure, yeah, Irish whiskey, damn right. Let's check out some ratings for this. It, it's gotta be up there. Beer Advocate, 85. I have 21 ratings. Quite expensive. I'm not ex I don't know exactly how much it cost me. $5 apparently, it's saying right here by somebody else at the LCBO. It's pricey, but like you, you gotta think that the brewing process for that beer to make it what it is it's probably not cheap. Excuse me. So like I was saying, I don't know if I buy a six pack or like I was saying again, I don't know if I'm going to go buy every bottle that's still in North Bay if I can, but I'd drop 10 bucks on two more bottles in a heartbeat. No question at all. Over on Rape Beer, we have an overall of 66 and it's 49 for the style. Really? Doesn't have that innocent gun butterscotch. In brackets, that's good. Uh, I just I disagree there. Butterscotch is always good. So so. Good, but could have been so much better with more butt. I'm 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 blown away here by the lack of enthusiasm from these people. Screw you people. Over on Untapped, we've got a score of 3.57 out of 5, 3,647 ratings. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe this has been around before. I, I don't know though. So smooth. Love me some, yes, you more people are enthusiastic over here. That's what I'd like to see. You should be enthusiastic. This is bloody amazing. So tasty. I want it to be full again. I want more. Makes me sad. Oh, let's, let's see. Go to Innocent Gun over here, my laptop, and our beers limited editions. I'm gonna check that out. There we go, right there. What else do we have? Alcohol free pale ale. Hopped bourbon cask ale. Then there's this one. And that's the only limited editions they have right now. So let's click on this one and check it out. Uh, doesn't say anything about, oh wait. It says you can order it from their online shop. It doesn't say anything about how limited it is though. 
I don't know if it's gonna be made again or if it's gone forever. I hope it's not gone forever. Oh, I love it. There's a date on here as well, I noticed that, which is best before this year, November, apparently. Lower on the ABV, so yeah. Usually, stouts are quite often something that you can put away for a while and forget about, but this one apparently no. Maybe you still could. I'm not sure how the flavor would change or if the beer would go rancid or something, but I haven't aged a whole lot of beers and found out. Drink number last. <sighs> mm. Innis and Gun, your kith and kin, barrel aged Irish whiskey stout stuff rating uh, fucking 10 your ingredients aren't the best contains wheat barley and malt but again you got a bunch of different languages that you translate to so I can kind of understand that dates on there even though it's not a best not a root on date it's freaking amazing that was so good yeah I love it and that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog Oh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you got some to send me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Delgin vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I believe I'm down to only one more Innocent Gun Beer in my fridge. And it's another limited edition one that I bought. I don't know, I bought it and set my calendar on my phone for notification. I'm going to drink it exactly one year from when I bought it. So I, I don't know when that will be, but that's, that's all I got left. Makes me kind of sad.